guys, Jessica here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a makeover to this dresser. I bought this dresser from my local thrift store for $20. It is a pretty nice, solid piece. It's definitely got a unique style to it. Some of the veneer is damaged, and it, the wood has some scratches on it that need to be fixed. And also, this top is not real wood, so I'm hoping to be able to paint over this so that it can match a little bit better. So if you would like to see this dresser's transformation, just keep watching. Two of the drawers have been previously repaired. Apparently the dovetail joints got severely damaged and someone just kind of glued them together. Although they're still pretty secure, they're gonna need a little attention. So to get started on this makeover, I removed all of the drawers and then I removed these unique drawer pulls. Alright, so cheapest place to buy sanding pads are Amazon. I got this whole box of 126 for like 16 bucks. So, FYI, I will leave a link of the ones that I bought down in the description box below. Then I got to sanding and I sanded all of the drawer fronts and then sanded the dresser frame. Because the top of this is not real wood, it's just a shiny, fake, plasticky looking wood stuff. I'm just gonna paint this because it does not match the rest of the real wood veneer. So I gave it a scuff sanding so that the paint can adhere to it better. Because this right here is cracked, I'm going to fill it in with some um, plastic wood filler. These have quite a bit of cracks. Um, since this is loose, I'm just gonna go ahead and rip it up. This one just got a couple little chips in here I'm just gonna fill in. I'll have to fill these in a couple times, sand them down and... This probably really is not the uh, right stuff. I probably need like a Bondo or something. We'll make this work. This is just what I have on hand right now. All right, we'll let that dry, and then once it's dry, um, I'll give it a good sanding. I'm gonna stain it, I'm using this dark walnut stain. got these 3 4 inch corner brackets and because these are so damaged um, they're not really repairable so I'm going to use these little brackets to really secure this in and hold it into place. Now it's time to get ready to paint and first I'm going to prime the stressor top with Kills Premium Primer. <laughs> I also prime the drawer pulls. Now it is finally time to paint and I'm going to be using Waverly Inspirations chalk paint in the color ink. I absolutely love Waverly chalk paint and this black is so, so, so gorgeous and its coverage is insane. Although I didn't really need to, I did apply two coats of the paint.
And after allowing that to dry, it is time to seal it. And I'm gonna be using my favorite Farthane's water-based polyurethane. And I applied four coats to the dresser top and three coats to everything else. So to add a little bit of fun to this piece, I add a little bit of paint and embellishments to the drawer sides. Because the bottom drawer did not have enough knobs and they did not go with this piece, I bought some new ones. I got this pack of 10 off of Amazon for $8.40. So just a quick reminder of what this dresser used to look like. And here it is now. So here it is. I really love how it turned out. It is amazing that this black really makes the wood of this piece stand out. But this wood looks so much better now that it's been refinished and this piece is absolutely stunning. So if you've been following my channel, you saw that a couple months ago I redid a small little mid-century modern style end table. So that little end table actually matched this piece but I had already sold it before I got this dresser. So the thrift store had put them out at different times, unfortunately, so I would have loved to keep them together as a set, but it didn't quite happen that way. So let's talk numbers real quick. I bought this piece for $20. For the paint, I used about half that eight ounce bottle of paint. That paint was close to $8, so I figured about $4 worth of paint. Really didn't use much paint at all. That paint has such good coverage, one coat, was almost enough coverage, but I went ahead and did two coats. So for the new knobs at the bottom, it was 336 for the four of them. And then with all the other supplies of sealer, primer, and filler, and sandpaper, and all that, I figured about $5 or so. So I figured I have about $33 into this piece. And I've listed it for sale on Facebook Marketplace for $250. If I do sell it for that, it will be a profit of $217. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys in a later video.